so we've got an equilateral triangle over here that's corner a b and c all these sides are equal 50 millimeters each there is this point o on this side a b okay at a distance 15 from a now what you really need to do is to suspend this entire flat surface thin surface with respect to this very point before doing that let me tell you something else there is this point that you see this is the center of gravity what's beautiful about the center of gravity is if you allow it to suspend with respect to this corner automatically what you see is that this line over here joining this corner with the center of gravity becomes absolutely vertical similarly if you try to suspend this flat surface with respect to this point automatically what will happen is again this line joining this corner point of suspension and the center of gravity becomes absolutely vertical that means if you mark any point on this flat surface okay and join it let's say this very point point o and join it with the center of gravity over here with the center of gravity the moment you suspend it it will come to equilibrium and this line will be absolutely vertical let me demonstrate this for you here it is okay okay it let me okay now it has achieved equilibrium you can see the line joining point o and the center of gravity is absolutely vertical not just this there are few more things which have been asked in the question uh this entire arrangement is a case of third quadrant that means below hp and behind the vp not just that the surface itself the plane itself is at an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical plane now all of this has to be implemented let's see how all of this can be achieved here we go So we are talking about an equilateral triangle where all the sides are equal okay and they will be equal to 50 millimeters the corners are a b and c now this is suspended from a point o which happens to be on this side a b at a distance of 15 millimeter from the corner a i'll be demonstrating all these things to you don't worry okay i have got a real object right anyway let's see this in such a way that the plane of the triangle that means flat surface of the triangle makes an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical plane right so many data have been given one more information regarding this point o is that it is 20 mm below the hp below the hp so that means it is a case of either third quadrant or fourth quadrant on reading further we observe that it is 40 mm behind the vp so if the point is below hp and behind the vp it is a clear cut case of third quadrant okay so we understood and now you need to draw the projections of this equilateral triangle sir how to do this let me write down all the datas in one single go okay what's the name of the object sir it is an equilateral triangle all the sides are 50 millimeters each wonderful what about point o sir point o is on side ab and at a distance of 15 millimeters from a okay any other information regarding point o yes a point o happens to be 20 mm below hp please note this below hp and 40 mm behind vp now any distance with respect to hp is small h represented by small h i mean this is my funda this is how uh, i represent stuff any distance with respect to vp is small d wonderful sir so for point o h o is is the subscript okay now you know this is a clear cut case of third quadrant yes sir it's a clear cut case of third quadrant how do the projections happen sir they are actually d is above and h is below that means top view is above or rather top view is at the top and front view is below the x y line anyways take a look equilateral triangle let me make it all the angles here are going to be sir 60 degrees and all the sides sir 50 millimeters it has been given in the question wonderful this equilateral triangle is going to have a centroid or center of gravity i mean centroid and center of gravity are same okay as long as the density of this flat surface stays intact stays same at all the places at all the points okay centroid and center of gravity are the same thing right where is the center of gravity sir we can locate it very easily oh so let's take the example of this corner then this side bc is opposite to it let's locate its center and let me join 
So the same thing can be done with this corner B dash also. And this basically is the centroid. Okay, if you want to go further, you can do this. Right? All of them will cut over here, intersect here. Let me show this. This is center of gravity. Secondly, one more information has been given regarding this point O, sir. That is 15 millimeters from A. Here it is point O, 15 millimeters. So that is 15 millimeters. So we've got all the data regarding our object, okay, regarding the flat surface. Wonderful. Join O dash with center of gravity. Okay. Now what, sir? A, B, C. Okay, sir. Point O. Okay, can you see me now? Uh, a b c 15 mm from a this is point o okay let me suspend it what will happen uh, rukja, rukja. Uh, what will happen sir actually the line connecting the point of suspension that is o and the center of gravity becomes absolutely straight can you see this yes sir the line becomes absolutely straight so this is going to be your initial position and uh, on the drawing sheet it should look something like this Okay, watch, 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 watch on the screen, on the screen, eyes on the screen. Here it is. Okay, wonderful, sir. Sir, but uh, certain other things are also given. What are they? Sir, you said that this is the case of third quadrant. Yes, I do. Third quadrant, that essentially means, sir, in third quadrant, uh, the horizontal plane will be above and vertical plane will be below based on the rotation protocol, which also means that... Uh, top view will be above and front view will be below which also means that d will be above and h will be below okay remember there is a dash with h and there is no dash no dash okay with d i mean this is something that i've explained to you in projection of points if you haven't seen my video go watch it all the videos on projection of points you'll get this at least the first video okay that's the most uh I mean, I explain all the elementary concepts. Wonderful. How do we start, sir? And one more thing that I want all of you to notice that in this problem, the inclination is with the vertical plane. Pi over here. How much is the inclination? 60 degree. The moment you suspend it with respect to this very point O, it becomes like this. Okay, this becomes absolutely vertical. Right? Then what you need to do is you need to incline it with respect to the VP. So this angle over here, this angle made, from where can you see this angle? Sir, this angle can only be seen from the top. Okay, so you have to play with the top view. That is one thing. Secondly, whenever you go for surface inclination, this is surface inclination. In which step do you implement this? Sir, we implement the surface inclination in step number two. So for step number one, if in step number two, you incline it with respect to VP. In step number one, you are going to keep it parallel to VP. Isn't it? Isn't this exactly what I taught? Okay, the standard procedure. So you have to begin by creating the front view first. What? You have to begin by creating the front view. Okay. How do you create the front view? Let me demonstrate. Here we go. Draw an XY ring. But this time it is going to be slightly different because it's a case of, sir, this is a case of third angle projection where HP is above and VP is below. Okay. Or you can say the top view is at the top this is also one more way of uh, remembering stuff top view is at the top wonderful it is it is okay now let me go ahead as i told you since this is making an angle of uh, 60 degree with the vp you have to initially assume it parallel to vp or slam it on the vp okay parallel to vp let's say what do you see sir we see an equilateral triangle then make it but a special position the special position is the suspension you have to make the equilateral triangle in this position in this very position see this you have to make it ah let us get back to business this diagram is going to really help you this is your reference diagram okay and it i mean with its help you can make the front view the front view will be drawn below the exponent why sir because we are in the zone of third angle projection right start by locating point o dash how do we locate o dash simply use this logic d above h below how much is d 40 40 above 20 below done sir so o dash and o front view is below it's a case of third quadrant top view is above okay case of third quadrant next 
the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to locate the center of gravity and we know very well that the center of gravity can be located i mean you can simply draw a line over here you can take this o dash as the center keep one leg pencil leg i mean steel leg of your compass at o dash pencil leg of your compass at cg with this as the center cut an arc and you are going to get the center of gravity it's very very easy isn't it yes sir secondly what you need to do is you need to locate this point b dash but how sir how can we do this it's very easy again one leg at o dash other leg at b dash with o dash as the center cut an arc done sir what is the next thing the next thing is with one leg at cg other leg at b dash again with cg as the center cut an arc this is your point b dash mark it okay now take this much as the radius steel leg of your compass pencil leg of your compass make a circle wonderful now how much is this sir this is 50 and this sir i mean all the sides are 50 millimeters so with b dash as the center cut an arc that is going to give you c dash what is the radius of this arc the radius of this arc is equal to 50 similarly cut one more arc with c dash as the center over here again the radius of this arc is 50 right so you have got all the points connect all of them that's your equilateral triangle and you can clearly see this over here represents the point of suspension and this over here is your center of gravity this particular line is absolutely vertical wonderful sir now let me finish this off very very quickly okay the next thing is to create the top view front view has been made now let us see this from the top so that we can make the top view wonderful all the points all the points will be at the same level this way okay that's the top view okay sir what can we do now in the second step what we are going to go for is the surface inclination here the surface is absolutely parallel to vp you can see this it is this is the top view okay top view it is absolutely parallel to vp but here we are going to incline this top view at a certain angle and that is 60 degrees so what you need to do is I mean, let me make this point over here any random distance it should be sufficient make a point again this is o make it as o mark it as o okay again at an angle of 60 degree draw this line again you can take this much radius in your compass you 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 can simply draw a line like this okay with this much as the radius cut an arc you are going to get this point b similarly you can obtain the remaining points a and c somewhere here just do it done sir now we have to get the front view for getting the front view what you need to do is you need to look at it from over here from the front okay draw the lines draw the lines wherever they intersect mark the points <coughs> for example sir this is for b that's for b so this is the precise location of b dash similarly you can mark the remaining points that's what you get okay so these this is the final projection of an equilateral triangle suspended about this point o when its plane is at an angle of 60 degree with the vp this is the entire case and the entire arrangement happens to be in the third quadrant so if you find this content helpful do like and share the video with your friends and classmates this was manas patnaik signing off take care have a nice day thank you